Shalom everyone, shalom, shalom. May peace be unto you from God, through our Lord Jesus Christ, Yahshua Amashiach, Yahawashai, or Yashaya, our, our great high priest in the order of Meshachedek, and also our coming king. Now I see a, a, great, a much greater awakening of the of people waking up to who they are in the Hebrew Israelite community, in the in the community that has been scattered abroad. The black people, the ones who have went on slave ship, the ones who fit the description of Deuteronomy 28 and you know what is in the Bible. The people, the people are actually waking up to who they are. They're coming to they're coming to who they are in the land of their captivity. I see this happening worldwide and my soul rejoices my heart actually rejoices there's something i want to there's certain things i would like to address as we awake to the truth because i almost fa fell for quite a number of um the deceptions in the hebrew israelite communities you know the awakening of who you are is very very good and very very important and even the word of god said that we would do that in the land of our captivity but then you have camps out there who are teaching, who are teaching quite a number of, of erroneous doctrines, a quite a number of things that can even cause us to be disqualified. The main thing I want to talk about in this video, I'm, I'm going to teach more on these things. I'm going to teach more of what we would call Hebrew Israelite teaching, but it's really just teaching for the people of God, basically. You know, one of the main things I want to speak on in this video is the denying of Christ, knowing that you are Israelite and still deny Christ is not going to cut it. And I see that there's a, there's a spirit in, the, in many of the Hebrew Israelite camps and community that is like they're still denying Christ of what Christ came and did. Many of them don't even believe in baptism. It's like they don't even want to get baptized in the name of Yahshua or Yahushua or Yahawashai or whatever name you want to call our Lord Jesus Christ. I don't make fuss over the names. I'm, I'm going to also teach on that very soon too. People, and people make fuss over the name and at the same time they have no power. But that's another that's not, that's not thing to talk about. You know, having a form of godliness but denying the very power of Christ. But uh, let's, let me just speak on the name knowing that you are israel but denying christ will disqualify you because even the very people um denied christ and 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 and, and sell out christ basically for a thief and so we can see that this type of spirit is in many of the camps they don't believe in baptism many of them is talking about you get baptized by the word so when they preach the word to you you're not baptized by the word and all those type of stuff i've seen and i've heard these things because when i just started out learning these things i just sit sit back and listen and watch videos of many of these camps preaching to people at the initial part of it i was elated and impressed as well by how they can find scriptures they can always find precepts but as I myself go along and learn for myself and read the Bible, glory be to God, I read the Bible for myself, I start to see some errors and some holes in many of these camps, in many of these Hebrew Israelite teachings. Many of them, not all of them, but many of them actually deny Christ and deny baptizing in the name of Christ. And after Christ died, rose from the dead, and is at the right hand of God, every single one of his disciples baptized. They, his disciples baptized while he was here and others baptized even after he left. Every person who accepted the gospel got baptized. But now we see in many of these camps, people are saying that they're preaching the gospel, the good tidings. But at the same time, they don't promote baptism. They don't promote baptizing in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Give me a minute here, let me answer this phone and I'll get back to this. Okay, honestly, I don't remember what I was saying <laughs> because I was talking on the phone um, here. But the main thing is, this is what I see in the Hebrew Israelite in some of the Hebrew Israelite camps is that they deny they deny the baptism 
in the name of Jesus Christ. And they speak on just the, just the word being baptized by the word. And this is what I want to, the message in this video, I want to send out to all those who are waking up to the truth of who they are. Do not deny Christ in the process. Because just being Israel will not save you. Just being an Israelite, a true Hebrew Israelite, will not save you. It is not confessing that you are an Israelite saves. It is confessing Jesus Christ that saves. It is believing on the name of Jesus Christ that saves. It is that that saves us, not us confessing. Oh Lord, I confess that I am a Jew. I confess that I am from um, the, 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 the tribe of Judah. I confess that I am a Benjamite. You know, and, and, they, and they, then they find all these um, old time languages and say you Benjamin and Yahuda and, you know, all this type of stuff, you know. And it's very good to know these things. But let me tell you, if you deny Christ, you ain't going anywhere. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just being honest. Because many of these people are not coming out and telling you the, the, the plain truth. Glory be to God of the gospel. The gospel is about our Lord Jesus Christ. The entire law was speaking of Christ. You read about you read certain Psalms, it's talking about Christ. You read certain things in Deuteronomy, it's talking about Christ. You read certain things in Genesis, it's talking about Christ. You know, you read some of these extra biblical books like the book of Enoch, um, Jasher, uh, um, the book of Jubilee, the Apocrypha. These things spoke about Christ as well. So Christ is the fulfilling of these law. The fulfillment of these things that was spoken about him in time past. And so if we deny what even the very law was talking about, we deny our life because Christ is our very life itself. Christ is our life. And so if we deny Christ, we deny life. If we deny Christ before men, Christ will deny us before the Father. So even though we are people of Israel, let us not deny Christ. All the old there better get baptized in his name. Whether you want to say Yahushua, Yahushai, Yashaya, Yahshua, whatever name you want to say, call the Messiah. I don't make fuss over the names, as I, as I said earlier. I don't make fuss over names. But do not deny Christ as you wake up to who you are. Because Christ came for you first, and then the gospel went to the Gentiles. Christ came for us first, and then the gospel also went forward to the Gentiles. So do not deny Christ as you wake up to who you are. And ensure that you get baptized in his name. And walk by his commands as well. Because anyone who, does not, who is not under his ruling, he said to his disciples, Bring him before me and slay them before me. See, if you do not want to follow his rule and his rule and his reign, you're gonna be destroyed. So don't do not be like the people of Paul who deny Christ and sell out Christ and say, His blood be upon me and our children. Don't do that. Ensure that as you know who you are as a Hebrew Israelite, also know that Christ came to save you. And you must accept his saving grace. And his blood that now cry out for us. And let me tell you, the blood is the life. The blood is life. And some of you know this already. And so as his blood was shed for us, that blood is now crying out for us. Until the next video, may the most I bless you and keep you in all your ways and everything that you do. Shalom.